Yeah, we can talk to Tyler Orson now from Business in Vancouver. And uh, a major agreement has oil prices up this morning. Four of the world's biggest producers, uh, we're talking Russia, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Venezuela. Uh, they all came together and agreed to freeze their output. And uh, Tyler, I can see you nodding there right now. And just break this down for us. You know how big a deal this is, why they've done this and what this really means for us here in uh, B.C. Well, it is a big deal, but it is contingent on one big factor. They will uh, freeze their uh, production at January levels, contingent on whether other countries are going to join in on this agreement. So there's still a big what if factor going on here. So prices were actually up even uh, greater uh, yesterday in the lead up to this agreement. We even had the Canadian dollar above 73 cents for a little while because, of course, our Canadian dollar is very much tied to crude oil prices. So the big question mark going forward is, would Canada be willing to join in in such an agreement? Now, something like this, uh, we could see, you know, the Canadian dollar going upwards just a little bit, but this is only going to freeze oil production at those January levels. It's not actually going to be a cut to any of the production going on. So we still have this huge overabundance of supply in the markets when it comes to oil. Uh, it's very doubtful that, uh, that we're going to see major, major uh, boosts in oil prices going forward just because we have this oversupply. The other question mark about Canada is uh, whether this is going to actually create more jobs. I don't see that really coming uh, to fruition since, again, it's just going to be a freeze on those levels. So. Uh, for Canada, I, if you're a Canadian, I wouldn't necessarily bank on uh, planning a vacation for down in the U.S., uh, hoping that the Canadian dollar goes up in the near future by any significant, de significant degree. Okay, and while there are concerns over the economy and whether this is going to help us in any way, uh, we're getting some interesting numbers regarding tourism here in B.C. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, uh, BC Statistics Agency, they put out a report on behalf of Destination BC, which is the uh, agency in charge of marketing uh, tourism in uh, British Columbia. Big, big numbers. Uh, the tourism industry in, in 2014 uh, expanded enormously. Uh, the GDP worth uh, was $7.1 billion. Uh, GDP grew at a rate in the tourism sector at 4.5%, which is quite significant. That, that's above the overall BC economy of uh, just 2.1 percent. Now wages grew significantly as well. Uh, they grew 4.5 percent to $4.5 billion uh, compared with the year before. Now the average wage, uh, it's up 10 percent compared to 2004, so that's about $33,616. So the lesson here maybe that we can look at is these numbers are all coming from uh, 2014. Before the Canadian dollar really started to drop significantly, we're seeing a big spike in tourism from abroad, especially the United States going forward because of the low Canadian dollar. So we can expect that the uh, tourism sector will expand even more uh, as we get more numbers out uh, from last year as well as this year going forward. All right, Tyler, have a great day. Thank you so much for all of that. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Sonia. Thank you.